Dice Hunter. This is my favorite game so far. On the Google Play Store. Hey. <coughs> this is the only MMO kind of game I play at the moment. <laughs> what is that, Panda? This game is pretty decent about giving you free stuff, so you check it often. Uh, dice shards are used for leveling people up. Turn my volume up. I'm gonna close my window. I got lawn mower outside. <laughs> Music goes off. Oh. Too bad. I'd like to find a game where I could uh, turn the music volume down. Um, when I get editing software, I may be able to turn the game itself down, and so my voice is louder by contrast. Who knows? The fortune teller. Yeah, this game uh, pays you for <laughs> looking at commercials. <laughs> Most of these kind of games do. Uh, this is a, something you only do, I think, uh, I want to say once a day, but maybe like every five hours or something. Sometimes you get diamonds. Usually you just get a few coins. Alright, this game has quests. Daily fortune, that's one reason to do the daily fortune. This is a quest. Get experience. And uh, when you. Uh, level up, you get what's called a monster hunt, which I'll be doing pretty soon. Show you guys what that's about. This game's very interesting. Um, there's a board game. I don't remember what it's called. I want to say it's called Dungeon Dice or Dice Dungeon, Dice Hero maybe. Uh, it's very similar. To Creatures on the left side will get, uh, what to call it, like power points, like Pokemon. <laughs> we'll get power points or uh, thunderbolts. Monsters on the right side will get points for uh, stars. I don't think it matters what position you're in. It's just that's how it happens. If I were to put these Thunderbolt uh, guys, these guys are missing the bolt here. If I put those on the right side, um, they would still be earning power points. It doesn't matter what the price says. I just do that for aesthetic reasons. <laughs> um, I am using the unicorn, aren't I? <coughs> now, the only reason why I use a unicorn instead of a toad is because he has three shields. <coughs> <clears throat> and uh, I think shields are the weakest so far. Uh, attacking is definitely better than defending, but I think these kind of monsters that have several, uh, what to call them, spell symbols maybe? Power symbols? Shape symbols? Uh, I think these are the strongest. Their abilities are very, very helpful. They're a great way to get out of uh, tough puzzles. All the events and different things have very difficult puzzles, and so uh, my build is it's all about these uh, these monsters that have multiple uh, spell symbols, power symbols. I got this guy when I first started playing right here. This was my first monster. And uh, he, you know, he's very balanced, uh, but he uh, starts with full power points, which is really good. I'm gonna assume that all level threes and up uh, do that. <laughs> this bar right here in the middle uh, shows. Oopsie. <laughs> oh. Okay, 
This bar right here in the middle shows basically how difficult the mission will be. As long as your recommended power and your actual power is close to the same, you should be able to beat the mission. If it's the same or less, you may have to do the mission more than once. But that's no big deal. If it's higher, you'll almost never have to repeat the mission. <coughs> they have these daily events. The prizes for that are pretty good. So if you do. Let's use their abilities. This just does damage. And this is what I mean when I say the uh, power symbols help you get out of puzzles. You have this uh, gate, and you have this bomb over here. They both need thunder symbols. Okay, so if we do that, so you can see I have three monsters that have a one in three chance of giving me a thunder symbol. So it should happen on its own. If you get a star, uh, these guys take more damage. Very effective. So you can lock dice, and I'm not going to do that this time. And if I get a uh, thunder symbol, I'll lock my dice. So, 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 so. The shields will give you uh, shield points uh, equal to the symbol uh, seen at the uh, right and towards the middle. That little 88, that's how much, uh, how many shield points I get for each shield symbol. Which, uh, maybe you have a build for that, I don't. My build is around casting the creature spells, basically their abilities. And I still don't have any lightning bolts, which is sad. <laughs> Next card's <is> open. <laughs> if I can get that uh, barrel to explode, it'll do damage to every monster. Okay. The dice lock uh, symbol at the very bottom left will tell you uh, how many locks it has. It only goes up to five. But that's an important part of the game is uh, knowing when and when not to use those. Yeah, so, uh oh, there's a girl right next to me. Uh, when this timer goes off, this will do 160 damage to me. Huh. Oh, this is cool. So one thing you can do is, I could lock these uh, two symbols, but I'm not going to because it's likely that they'll fall on thunder anyway. And so what I'll do is I'll click one that is likely to fall on thunder. So, like this one. And just locking that one, I should get double star, or double uh, thunder. We'll see. <laughs> Okay, see? It's usually worth it. It's not as likely as if you lock both of them, but you'll get to the worst if I do that. And you'll save on dice slots, uh, which is important. These events are usually really difficult and have some traps. So, uh, when this reaches 5, the dice slot symbol, you definitely want to use it, because otherwise you'll waste points. Uh, all these. That's what that red number is. Not all monsters do that, but some do. Hey, <laughs> my dog is freaking out because his name is Monster. <laughs> I don't have any stars here. And I'll just lock the. Hopefully, I get a. Uh, some stars. <laughs> okay, there's one star. I'll lock that star for next turn. Okay, let's so lock the star. When a creature is destroyed, uh, or an obstacle is destroyed, the object above it will slide down, 
and if it's a monster, it'll be stunned. Which is kind of part of the game is trying to get the monsters to stun themselves. Or to become stunned. Should be the star. There. Okay. <coughs> It's a big part of the game. Yeah, this archer's ability is five damage. Five random damage. Okay. I usually get my creature abilities pretty often because of the uh, the types of monsters I've chosen. Uh, half of them have uh, three spell dice, I guess, symbols. Uh, and I definitely I have a little less defense than I think most most teams would have. I think I feel like defense is the least helpful thing in this game. I could be wrong. It might be more helpful than the swords. <laughs> I, I do think the abilities are what's most helpful, though. Uh, the monsters in the middle get uh, power points from each symbol that you roll. So every time you roll a star, every time you roll a thunderbolt, both these monsters in the middle uh, of these dice will gain a point for each one. So your stronger monsters you definitely want to keep in the middle of your team, so their abilities will kick off more often. Uh, there are also some maps that may favor other abilities. The, the Toad's pretty cool, even though his, his dice is weak. Uh, the Toad does swallow objects, so he can swallow these bombs, for instance, he can swallow these. Oops. Could be pretty helpful. Sweet. Excited about the outside noise, if you can hear that. <laughs> okay, so I'll lock this uh, star, and see what happens. Okay. It's very likely that a, a dice will land on uh, Thunderbolt with my team. This just kind of works out that way. Okay. We're targeting this monster. He dies. This guy is done. <coughs> big part of the game here. Oh, uh, bushes. Uh, oftentimes will hold something. And when an enemy falls, they'll also run into the bushes and clear them. Okay. Now I'm gonna have to cut this video eventually. Uh, my phone seems to hold uh, only about up to an hour of video. It's very sad. I'm having lots of fun doing this. This guy's ability is pretty cool. It'll stun each monster in the front row. This lady's ability will uh, stun a monster. Right there, Naga. Yeah. Get to attack another monster also. This guy's ability does. Uh, one damage to two random targets, and we'll stun two. I'm looking at this guy. I can afford it. I haven't really paid for anything. Uh, I may have bought a dice. I'm not sure. Uh, it's not worth it. <laughs> I'm still early in the game, so I've gotten a lot of free dice hunts. Just from leveling up. You get them as quest, quest rewards also, and... I think you can get them as random rewards. Sure. I want the Thunderbolts. That is a Thunderbolt. That is a star. And shoo! Throw the dice. Okay. It's a Lots of traps. Lots of puzzles. And so I just... I feel like this is the best way to build my students. To have it uh, geared for these different spell symbols. I really think that's what's most powerful in this game. It seems to only go up to three, which is kind of a shame. Uh, I just had three. 
have to be there. Okay. Those are the monsters that I'll get ready first. Okay. There we go. Uh, I wonder how uh, PewDiePie versus Team Series is doing. I used to check that every day. I'm down to like every week now. I'm sure he'll win unless there's uh, some crazy shit going on. <laughs> Alright. Unicorn's ability is okay. He, uh, stuns. He kills them in a, in a uh, column, I guess, going upwards, and he will stun each one. Lots of stun abilities, that's kind of what I prefer. I think they're more useful than damage. Okay. Yeah. So, the barrel. Oh, it didn't go off. Good. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't doing much damage, this is the thing. This one's 60. I think it's 160. It's the same. It's when it's better. Oh, and it looks off. And, uh, you know, I don't feel like blocking any of these guys. Oh, it's hard. It's just like I'm gonna this over. Okay. Sometimes I can block this. There are certain situations, too, where you won't take any damage, and you can just keep rolling and gaining new, uh, dice locks. Oh, check <laughs> Uh, coins are used for leveling up monsters. Not ranking up monsters. There is a, uh... I forget what the currency is. There's a there's three kinds of currency in this game. And the other one... Shards. These are called uh, card shards? Monster shards? Dice shards. They're called dice shards. And uh, dice shards are used for ranking up a monster. I or one of my monsters here. Uh, I didn't pay for the shards. He, uh, if you roll, if you if you do a dice hunt and you get the same monster, you uh, instead of getting the monster again, you will get uh, dice shards, which you can use to rank up the monster. I'm hoping when he reaches level three, he'll uh, get his ability right off the bat. My thunder guy. There are five elements in this game. There's uh, water, fire, earth, wind, and misfortune. So undead, unholy type things are misfortune. Usually in these kind of games I go uh, dark water, like Pokemon or something. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if there's a gimmick for each uh, Both my fire guys stun. My one air guy does damage. <laughs> um, I really don't know. I don't know if the abilities have anything to do with their element. That would be kind of cool. I'd like to have a dark water team. Uh, it's just usually what I go for. <laughs> okay. So I'll see if I can do a dice quest here. It's really nice for the dice quest. Here. This game is pretty fun. Oh, not quite. Uh, when you want to gain experience and just uh, arm, you can use the time machine. Those levels are usually pretty easy because they're old, and they're especially easy because your uh, attack dice get a bonus for some reason. So this uh, at the left hand, uh, not really corner, the middle uh, left side. That 71 means that there's a 71% chance that I'll do double damage when I roll a sword. Which makes these levels a lot easier. And unlike events, there's there's not a lot of traps. Mostly just monsters. So, my poor dog. He keeps hearing his name. So I'm just gonna blast through this with 
swords. Rolling swords. <coughs> yeah, see? So instead of damage. I really like that uh, you finish attacking the know that you are attacking before everything slides down again. It keeps you from hitting uh, gates and things like that, wasting attacks. I think that just about <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Can you get four of kind of the more? Announce <laughs> it. Before I end this video, I want to go on a dice hunt. That's probably the most satisfying part of this game. <laughs> Trying to get new monsters. The poor dog thinks he's in trouble. <laughs> Okay, I'm locking this dice because it only has one sword. Oh. I mean, gameplay is pretty simple. <laughs> I'm figuring stuff out, you know, once in a while, but after a couple days of playing this, you'll figure out most of it. Practice will only get you so far in this game. Experience will get you far. Sometimes you just have to find out what a thing does, and then you're good. It's not really a uh, practice game. Uh, it's more of a uh, rolling dice and, and getting like, you know, uh, treasure boxes and stuff kind of game. <laughs> I'm actually a uh, uh, drawn into gambling. I've never gambled uh, really in my life, but uh, if I did, I don't think I would ever stop. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And th this is a vertical game, so hopefully this uh, sound works well. I'm using that other recording program, too. Um, I think they might be the same. I'm not sure. Uh, I think I think I'm going to have to buy a, uh, a mic. I don't think there's any getting around it. <laughs> I have money for it, though, so maybe this month I think I'll, I'll be buying a mic. Um, I might buy one today. I'm not sure. Okay, yay! So I leveled up, and so I got a dice hunt. Dice hunts are very fun. That's part of this game. So if you don't like this part, don't buy this game. This is my favorite part of the game. Wait. <laughs> hey! A Cyclops. Whoa. Okay. So he's he's got lots of attack. There's different dice for different things. Uh, this guy would be useful for the time machine. I think he would make those go quicker. Uh, I rarely use the time machine, though. Um, I don't need to power level very much. I'm actually pretty good at this game. Yeah. Do damage. It's just a, a damage dealer. His ability is very weak. Wow. Yeah, his ability is very weak, actually. That's not good. That's not a good ability. The, uh, my air guy basically has the same ability, but it doesn't matter where the opponent is, he could, he could hit anywhere. It's objectively weaker. <laughs> um, maybe when I upgrade it, though, my did will say, uh, deal damage to each monster, I'm not sure. I'm kind of disappointed with the green monsters in this game. <laughs> um, that's interesting, you can get more than the minimum, uh, energy. That's interesting. That's nice. <laughs> yep, that's uh, that's dice hunter. 
Dice Hunter? Dice Hunt? I think it's called Dice Hunter. And uh, these rewards stack really nicely as long as you check in every day. Uh, ooh, I get one in 50 minutes. As long as you check in every day, you will get better and better rewards. And it doesn't seem like it resets if you miss a day. I, I did miss a day. And so. I'm gonna say, this is. Uh, 30 days? Ooh, yeah, it's a little. It is hard to get dice on this. You only get one every 30 days if you use this system, but there's multiple ways to do it. So, and uh, there's only so many monsters in this game. Hopefully it keeps getting updated, hopefully they keep adding more, because I already have, I want to say like a third of them. Uh, assuming maybe by the time you come with the game, you'll probably have Ooh, yeah, you'll probably have all monsters. I'm not even a third of the way done with the game. <laughs> Is there a hundred levels? Yep. Oh, there's more than a hundred levels. Wow. There's a lot of levels in this game. Let's try the Snake Eyes here. <laughs> Snake Eyes is the bad guy. This game reminds me of a game called Medieval. If you've ever played Medieval, I'm sure you'll find uh, similarities. The art style seems to be similar. It's just the, the overall mood of this game. <laughs> it seems really similar to Medieval. A lot of these monsters look like monsters you would find in Medieval. I don't think it's done by the same company. I wouldn't be surprised though. And, uh, let's see what to do. Okay, yeah, I mean... If plus. You have a lore, if you're into that, which I'm not. Let's see. Lore. Yeah, that's, uh, that's Dice Hunter. Bye.